Aloha, welcome to World of Peace with me, Amy Kitsuda. This week, I am on Liberty Island, right in front of the Statue of Liberty, to update viewers of DMC all around the world with the latest news and activities that took place recently that was organized by some of the meditation centers located throughout the world. It's really cold right now, so let's go rejoice in the merits of these activities. On Sunday, April 24, 2016, the Dhammakaya Bini Lux Meditation Center, in collaboration with the municipality of Lede, Belgium, hosted the World Heritage Exhibition of Belgium. The aim of this event is to give the locals the opportunity to visit the city notable historical site. This year, the event was hosted at Rokenberg Castle, which is currently the Dhammakaya Bini Lux Meditation Center. Throughout the whole day, there were approximately 600 people where the visitors came in groups from various regions. This was the first time that the Dhammakaya Bini Lux Meditation Center ever had this many visitors. The exhibition was arranged according to the time period, from the history of the customs and culture in the past era to the present. The paintings and the belongings from the 17th century were also displayed since the Dhammakaya Bini Lux Meditation Center was the former residence of the aristocrats. Most importantly, the Dhammakaya Bini Lux Meditation Center also showcased the biography and photographs of the great masters, some of the notable works of the Dhammakaya Temple, and customs during the notable Buddhist holidays. The visitors were interested in the temple's activities and some even signed up for their weekly meditation course. This shows that the Dhammakaya Bini Lux Meditation Center is successful in familiarizing the locals with meditation and is one step closer to propagating Buddhism in Europe. In addition, the local media also mentioned the temple's activities on their websites. It was a great honor for many visitors to come visit the Dhammakaya Bini Lux Meditation Center as part of the World Heritage Exhibition. From April 24th to April 30th, 2016, the Middle Way Meditation Institute organized the Middle Way 7 Days Meditation Retreat at Muktawan Retreat Center in Phuket. This gave an opportunity to foreigners who love inner peace to come together and practice basic meditation and learn Dhamma that is universal for all so that they can use the knowledge to benefit their daily lives. This project has attracted many foreigners from Austria, Brazil, Israel, and the United States of America, Vietnam, and Singapore. Meditation sessions were kindly led by the deputy of the Middle Way Meditation Department. During the retreat, the participants learned the principles of meditation and received guidance on practicing mindful awareness. After each meditation session, the teaching monk answered the participants' questions, examined their meditation experiences, and advised everyone to continuously practice meditation. From the discussion, many people had good meditation experiences where some of them found happiness and peace within. In addition, this project offered a variety of special events including yoga, bubble blowing, food offering to the monks in the Buddhist tradition, and sharing of meditative experiences amongst the participants. The teaching monks suggested solutions to any meditation obstacles which made each participant's progress in their meditation. At the end of the program, the participants took a group photo together as a souvenir of their experiences. For the next meditation program that will be held at Muktawan Retreat Center, please visit www.mdwmeditation.org. On May 2, 2016, Wapatamagai Hong Kong organized their weekly meditation session for locals. There were 11 participants that came from Hong Kong, Germany, Amsterdam, and the United Kingdom. All participants' meditation experiences were filled with brightness that shines to cover their whole body. After the meditation session, Venerable Ekalin Apishato gave a Dhamma talk on the topic of an introduction in relation to oneself. He also described a comprehensive code of social responsibilities and reciprocal ethics, where the East represents parents, South represents teachers, West represents wife and children, North represents friends and colleagues, Nadir represents slaves, servants, workers, or the earth below, and Zenith represents the reclauses and Br Brahmins, or the sky above. This was the first time that many of the participants heard about this talk, so they were very impressed with the knowledge that they gained from the teaching monk that day. 
The Japanese Tamataga Training Program was held from April 29th to May 8th, 2016, at Bang Makoi Temple in Chiang Mai Province. All 11 Tamataga monks had strong intentions to train themselves based on the Buddhist ways, such as observing the five precepts, meditation, and etc., with happiness during the summertime in Thailand. In fact, this is generally the hottest period in Thailand, but the weather at this temple was very cool. Comfortable and suitable for meditation. Many Tamataga monks said that this place is suitable for meditation because the environment is plentiful. There are hills, steam, and waterfall, which makes the atmosphere fresh. The environment around the temple enabled them to meditate well. They experienced the inner light, peace, and comfort within. The most important thing is that the locals love and believe in the Buddhism way very much. They came together to help the temple to prepare the ceremonies and offer alms to the monks every day. It is likely an international Buddhist village because many foreigners from different countries would travel here to meditate. On Saturday, April 30th, 2016, the Minnesota Meditation Center arranged a meditation for locals class. There were four locals who were interested in joining this class, and all of them were newcomers. Before meditation, the teaching monk played the MV that informed them about the 72nd anniversary Pratib Yamahamuni Hall that will be used as a center of propagating world peace in the North America region. That will be established at the Dhammakai International Meditation Center in California. Then the teaching monk explained about the right way to meditate before leading them in a meditation session. Their experiences were very good. They experience happiness from meditation and are invited to join the upcoming Visa Day ceremonies as well. On Sunday, May 1st, 2016, the Japanese Meditation Center in Tokyo arranged a meditation session and taught a special dhamma on the topic of the Buddhist history in Japanese by Most Venerable Dr. Pongsat Taniyo. Before listening to the dhamma from the teaching monk, the participants meditated together for 30 minutes. Then the teaching monk told the history of the Lord Buddha from his birth to his ordination. The main idea was that Buddhism was established because of Prince Siddhartha. In short, one day when Prince Siddhartha went out walking, he saw a deceased man, a dying corpse, and an ascetic. He realized that everybody must face these conditions, and no one can avoid them. The way to escape from these universal troubles and the cycle reincarnation is to be an ascetic. So Prince Siddhartha decided to ordain a few days after the birth of his son. Over 2,500 years has passed since the ordination day of Prince Siddhartha. So, what truth do we get? What did the Buddha teach us, and how can we apply this dhamma in our lives? Stay tuned next week for the answer to these questions. On Wednesday, May 4, 2016, consider it a historic day for Denmark and Buddhism, since a radio TV station invited venerable monks from Wapatamagai Kosor Linskov to be guests on a program called Go Morgan P3. This is a popular program where the majority of people in Denmark will listen to it on their way to work and at home. The host of this show discussed to the venerable monk about the important role that Buddhist monks play in being a form of good luck in the minds of people that made Leicester City Football Club become champions. The venerable monk stated that the most important thing for winning, besides teamwork, trust of the coaches, and disciplines of the players, is meditation. Meditation is the key to success and winning. Before ending the program, the venerable monk gave blessings to the people of Denmark for them to attain happiness, wealth, and success. On May 5, 2016, a group of scouts from Hazel Grove in Stockport, located in Greater Manchester, England, came to visit Wapatamagai, Manchester to learn about the Buddhist culture. This is the third group of scouts that came to visit this temple to learn about the Buddhist culture. When they arrived, the teaching monk gave them an explanation about the different things used in Buddhist ceremonies such as the alms bowl, ceremonial fan, monk robes, Buddhist lamp candle, holy water, and etc. Then the teaching monk gave them an introduction to meditation, which is known to be an important practice in Buddhism. 
Once he finished explaining about meditation, he was able to lead them in a meditation session. It was impressive to see the scouts meditating quietly together. After the meditation session, the scouts got to perform an alms offering ceremony, which is another important Buddhist ceremony. It is a great experience for the scouts, teachers, and parents to learn about the Buddhist culture at Wapatamagai, Manchester. It's always great to see locals coming to the meditation center in order to learn about meditation and also practice meditation. And now it's time for the quote of the week by Platyev Yamahamuni, Lomho Tamat Shiyo, who is the abbot of Wapatamagai and the president of the Dhammakaya Foundation. The Sun Inside the sun inside of us will glow when our minds are still. Its brightness will radiate all day and night, unlike the sun in the sky which shines during the daytime only. If we attain the sun inside, our lives will never face darkness again. Although we may not always be able to change things the way we want, we will remain unaffected by them because our minds are bridged to the inner sun or dhamma sphere that nourishes us with peace and joy. This was said on June 23rd, 2007. Well, everyone, that's all the time we have for this week. I would like to say goodbye from Liberty Island, and right behind me is the beautiful view of New York City. Don't forget to follow the World Peace News via the Facebook fan page at Dhammakaya Post, and I will see you again next week. Swadiha!